For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show you how you can use a bitmap graphic with transparency inside of CircuitPython. So this uses image load, and I'm using display I.O. to do a whole bunch of other stuff as well as vector I.O. But what I've added here is a new little function called add clown. So what I'll do is remove the comment from this and I'll resave this code to my board. And what you'll see is when it restarts, we will have added precisely one clown. Hey, there's a clown. And, uh, oh, he's a sad clown. But the cool thing about this clown you can see is that since I have the ball bouncing around behind him, it's pretty easy to tell that there is transparency going on, sort of like an alpha channel if you're used to modern graphics. But what's going on here is that there is one special color in this image which is considered to be the transparency color. What's happening in the code is that anywhere that the index zero color, so the first color in the palette, which happens to be magenta, is going to be knocked out. It's going to be rendered transparent. In my function, what I'm doing is loading in a bitmap graphic, that's that clown2.bmp, then I'm setting up with image load the image as well as the palette. What I'm doing is with pal.make transparent zero, I'm picking the first one, index zero color, which is the magenta, and making that the transparent color. Then I set up this little sprite as a tile grid, clown.tg is tile grid clown image and the pixel shader. And then I append that to my main group. And then I'm setting it in a particular place depending on the call that I send to this function. So if I send it now another one, add clown at 7070, we'll get two clowns on there, which are gonna be uh, at the positions that I've indicated. So there you can see, it's a really easy way to create transparency. And so that's how you can use transparency with a BMP graphic inside of CircuitPython. And that is your sad clown CircuitPython Parsec.